was just that was just a testimony. So the, the title of my message today is "Be Comfortable with Being Uncomfortable." See, I think a lot of times Christians tend to get a little too comfortable in their life Amen. that we don't realize we're supposed to look different than everybody else. When you walk the streets, when you go into a grocery store, when you talk to somebody who doesn't know Jesus, or even if it's somebody that does know Christ, you're supposed to look different. Jacob Smith is a senior at Lexington Christian Academy. He's the student body chaplain for the school and is also an assistant coach on the Varsity Boys basketball team. Jacob is loved by many at his school and is considered friends of the faculty, having more adult friends than actual teenagers. Um, he, he, he will be missed in my life. I know when he goes, leaves here and goes to Asbury next year, that, that'll be hard for me. Like, I'll have to kind of grieve that, that our relationship will probably change and I won't get to see him on the daily, so, yeah. Jacob may be in a great place now, but his life hasn't always been, well, comfortable. There was, we, there was one birthday together, and it was the, my first birthday when I was one. That was the only birthday we ever spent together as a family, but they were never, they were never married. Jacob was born to Angela Davidson and Wes Smith. Both had just graduated from high school and were not in a place to take care of him. Eventually, Jacob's parents split and his mom remarried. Jacob was left to be taken care of by his grandfather for a majority of his life, building a fatherly relationship that he never got. So, he'd take me to school, pick me up from school, take me to sports, take me out to eat, watch ball games. I mean, <laughs> you, you build a, an attachment, so, and the person who is your actual father starts to feel more like a grandfather or an uncle or somebody distant in the family. Um, his grandfather also influenced a very important aspect of his life, basketball. So basketball was my identity, who I was and what I wanted to be with life and all I, all I cared about. Jacob grew an unhealthy obsession with the game, and it turned into his identity. Just kind of, you know, like I said, basketball became my identity, who I wasn't all I cared about, and I felt like other people were dragging me down. And so I kind of became a narcissist and, and put everybody else to the side and said, this is me and basketball. This is me and you know, me and this thing. This is, this is my life. This eventually led to an identity crisis for Jacob, and he knew something had to change. How did your identity change? I met Jesus. Jacob began going to church and realigning his life with what God had planned for him. But sadly, in spring of 2022, he lost who he saw as a father. Jacob's faith remained solid, but his love for basketball was fading, so he decided to quit. But essentially... He confided in me that he probably thought he was going to quit basketball and be done with basketball. And I simply suggested, hey, why don't you, why don't, having you around is a good thing, this basketball program. Why don't you come on as a student assistant coach? And he would have thought, I just thought of, like, literally, I, I, I split the atom or something. He thought it was just this incredible idea that had never been thought of before. Jacob found a new love for the game and a new love for God. Just when it seemed that all was comfortable, his mother tragically passed away in spring of 2023. Obviously, his story here with losing members of his family, a grandfather that was very close, a mother that he was very close with, all it did was deepen his faith. Uh, which for so many young people would shake their faith and leave them asking a lot of unanswered questions. But for Jacob, all he did was lean in to God even more through those tragedies. Both the passing of his grandfather and his mother never wavered Jacob's faith. Both meant the world to him, but he knows that God always has a plan. Amen. The two biggest lies that I was ever told was that the Christian life is easy and that the Christian life is comfortable. That's false.